Have you got one of these at home? You do? Well, grab it and let's head to the park. So I've put together an amazing full body workout, and all you're going to need is one resistance band. I'm pretty sure I've got every muscle group covered, but be sure to watch right till the end, and let me know in the comments if I've missed anything. The benefits of working out at an outdoor park or playground is that there's many choices for anchor points in which to tie off your band to. So we're going to start off with the chest band crossover. You're pushing out somewhat like you would with a bench press or a push up, but you're bringing your hands close together or even crossing over, ensuring that you fully contract the pec muscles. Now using a high anchor point, we can do the one arm variety. You'll actually feel that it's working your lower chest. Also, don't be surprised if you feel your front delts working, especially when you bring your arm up to the top. Moving over to back exercises now, we'll do the high band pull down. I'm using a supinated grip here, which means I'm gonna get a little bit more bicep involvement besides the back. Here's another version. This is the close grip or neutral grip. And finally, simulating a pull up, we do the wide, pronated grip version. Switching over to a low anchor point now, we're able to do the bent over back row. This works on back thickness, especially around the lower and middle back area. And of course, bicep involvement. Staying with our low anchor point, we're gonna switch over to leg exercises. And the first exercise is the prayer squat. It's quite similar to when you use a single dumbbell and you do a goblet squat. I love these because they are very safe. You don't have to worry about balance so much. This exercise works your quads, your hamstrings, and your glutes. And of course, the other part of the legs are your calves. So I perform these calf raises. Now I must admit, this is a pretty weak exercise. Maybe you have some other options you could suggest in the comment section. Switching back to a high anchor point now, we're going to do one of my favorite exercises, the tricep pull down. And you want to make sure the arm gets nice and straight and contracted at the lower position. Or you can try this advanced variety where you're actually bringing the arms behind the body. Another great exercise to maximize the contraction of the triceps is the skier kickback. Here you crouch down, knees bent, as if you're going down a ski hill. But instead of holding ski poles, you're pulling on these bands. Again, just like the pull down, you want to make sure that you fully contract the arm by having it straight at the bottom of the movement. Now we'll switch over to the biceps and for our first exercise, we're going to perform a hammer curl. Making sure to have the arm straight at the lower position and fully contracted at the top. Hammer curls are great for building biceps and forearm muscles. Here we're going to perform the extended bicep curl. We start off with the arms in a very stretched out position. It's quite similar to doing an inclined dumbbell curl on a bench. Good stretch at the bottom and a good contraction at the top. I said at the start of this video that I was going to cover every muscle group in this workout. But of course, we've got to move on to abs. This is the high band ab crunch. Notice how it's mostly my upper torso that's crouching over, contracting those abdominals. I see a lot of people doing this exercise improperly. They just allow the butt to go back, the legs bending. This is not an ab crunch. Beside the front ab muscles, there's also abdominal muscles on the side of the body called the obliques. The muscle fibers of the obliques run on a diagonal pattern, which is why we do this high band wood chopper. The final muscle group we're going to work on now are the shoulders. We're going to do a front shoulder exercise by using this band, crossing it over and doing a W press. So the elbows are in at the bottom and your hands are going out wide at the top. Of course, no shoulder workout would be complete without the side lateral raise. Make sure that you not only have nice tension up at the top, but also tension throughout so the arm has to come fully down in front of the body, giving the side delt a nice stretch.
So, have you been keeping up okay? Well, don't worry, this is our last exercise. This is the band face pull. Great for the rear delts. Try as much as possible that when you come back to get the hands right behind the ears. There it is. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's workout, and don't forget to let me know in the comments section whether or not you think I've left anything out.